McCafe shake machine training. So this is our shake machine slash ice cream machine. We make both shakes and ice cream desserts from this area. So we're gonna start our training by going over how the equipment works and what's on the display controls. Up here, this is the shake machine side. You'll see that we have three different flavors. We have chocolate, strawberry, and vanilla. And then the fourth one, the blue one, that is for when we have special flavors, which that only happens about once a year for the Shamrock Shake. The other side is the ice cream controls, and you never have to hit any buttons on that. The only thing you're ever gonna utilize is the lever, okay? So on the shake and ice cream machine, we can make three different types of ice cream desserts. We have our ice cream cones, and if you see, uh, there is a timer on it because any type of food item has to have a secondary holding time on it. So you can see the ticket on there, okay? Ice cream cones are good for one day. And then we have our McFlurries. So we have two different sizes. We have the snack size flurry, and then we have the regular size flurry, and then they get a special spin. Pull one of them out. Okay, and that's the McFlurry spin. We have two different types of flavors. We have the Oreo and we have the M&M McFlurry. And if you notice, we have a tag on each one of the mixes because they are also only good for a certain amount of time. We also have our sundaes and we have two flavors. There's caramel sundaes and fudge sundaes. And the cups for those are right there and then we have our shake cups right above the sundae cups. We have three different sizes. So the top one is your small, which is 12 ounces. Medium is 16 ounces. Large is 20 ounces. And the ice cream sundae cups and the flurry cups all get the same type of lid. So right there is your Sunday or flurry lid, okay? Your shake cups get a dome lid. And if the customer would like a shake with no whipped cream, they get a flat clear lid. So now we are gonna take you through how to make each ice cream dessert. And then we will take you through how to make the different size shakes. So let's start out with the ice cream cones, Zion. Ice cream cones are three inches and three ounces. You put the cone under the ice cream side, slowly pull down the lever, fill the cone up with the ice cream, and then you do three swirls, which will equal the cone out to be three inches and a total of three ounces of ice cream. You can compare it up to the pitcher. Let's put it up to the pitcher. And there you go, three inches, three ounces, three swirls, okay? Next, we'll do a fudge sundae. So you take your ice cream, or your sundae cup, you fill that up with ice cream. When you get to the middle of the sundae cup, you slowly put the ice cream in the middle, pull away, pull down the cup, and you'll see you get that little top part hanging around. One pump of fudge, or one pump of caramel completes the sundae. It's five ounces of ice cream, one ounce of sauce. After the ice cream and the sauce is in the sundae cup, then you put a sundae lid on it. And that is served with one of the black spoons. Okay. Now we're gonna do each one of the flurries we have. Let's start out with a snack size flurry. We'll make an Oreo snack size. You take the snack size flurry cup, fill it with ice cream. Once it gets to the rim of the McFlurry cup, you pat, you, uh, pat it down twice. And then you put a lid on it. And the snack size flurry gets two servings of the mixing. So you go one, two, 
Then you put your flurry spoon in it. You're gonna take it over to your McFlurry mixing station and you're gonna mix it for six to eight seconds. After the spoon is hooked up onto the machine, you put you hit the on button, mix it for six to eight seconds. Turn it off, and then you remove the spoon from the holder, and there you go. You have a fully mixed flurry, okay? Now we'll do a regular size M&M flurry. Same procedures. You're gonna go ahead and fill up the flurry cup with ice cream. When it gets to the rim of it, you will go ahead, pat it down twice, put a lid on it, and do three scoops of candy. One, two, three. You're gonna go ahead and put your flurry spoon in it. And same thing, you're gonna take it to the flurry mix station and you're gonna mix for six to eight seconds. And now you have a fully mixed M&M flurry. Okay, now let's go over different shakes. So, how about we make a large shake? All right, our large is our 20 ounce one. And let's do a strawberry shake. So we're gonna hit the red button for strawberry. And you'll see there's nothing else you have to do. It will automatically stop itself due to the sensor behind the cup. Once it stops, you remove the shake. You then put a dome lid on it. And you are gonna put the whipped cream on it through the little hole on top of the dome lid. And now you have a finished strawberry shake. Okay, now let's do chocolate shake so they can see what that one looks like. We will again do large. So we need two large chocolate shakes for our drive-thru. So we're gonna hit the brown button for chocolate. Again, it fills itself up. The sensor will make it stop. Now the sensor is the white sticker behind the cup. I'll show you once we remove the shake. Okay. Put the dome lid on and then we whip cream. The sensor is right there, the white sticker. It senses the temperature of the cup and the level that the shake mix fills up into it so it will automatically stop. If this sensor gets dirty, you must wipe it off or the cup will overflow. Now we're gonna do one more large uh, chocolate shake because our drive-thru needs it. And again, we'll put our dome lid on and we will whip cream it up. Okay, and that concludes our training for the shake machine.